Hey, y'all. Good morning, healthy people. Hold on. Hey. Okay. Good morning, healthy people. Um, today is Saturday, March 31st. I know that y'all see my ceiling fan is on. Let me tell y'all my kids turned my air on last night. I, I had to clench my invisible pearls. I was like, we're not trying to add them bills right now. But anyways, it is a little warm. Um, the sun has come out earlier, so like the lighting in my room is obviously going to be different. And... I wake up later on the weekends. Actually, no, what's been really been going on is because I went to bed kind of early. Um, I've been having allergies, so I've been taking a Benadryl, which puts me into a very long sleep, longer than I probably normally would sleep. So today's my daughter's birthday, so I'm it's it's gonna be interesting to see what she's gonna get me into today. So um today's question is who are you? And that's one of my favorite questions. It's one of the questions I think it's in the workbooks, but it's something that I definitely ask in the workshop some people may not like it because they're like I'm just me I'm a being I'm free but then that's who you are you write about that um but the thought process behind the question is who are you beyond the labels beyond the titles beyond the degrees beyond the relationship status beyond the um being a mom being a dad being a sister a daughter like just who are you are you a kind person are you good are you sweet we may have answered or asked this question i may have asked this question before we may have answered it but it's nothing wrong to answer it again because each day we discover new things about ourselves new beliefs right and whenever there's a new belief you replace it with the old belief that's how you grow um and it's always good to reflect so we are going to journal starting now i'm very lazy though today i really don't feel like journaling i don't feel like doing anything i'm gonna be honest with you i'm doing it because i want to be consistent i was supposed to get grab a pen before um, i started talking to y'all but i did it i got like markers everywhere i think i got a pen right here no nope i'm sorry it was a little close if we were face to face that would be me stepping into y'all personal zone so one or two things that i'm doing right now it's stalling because I don't feel like journaling. You guys should be journaling because I don't want to take too much of your time. But I am legit looking for a pen. I'll just write with this pencil. Um, I just feel like it's easier. So you should have everything available to you. I feel like it's easier when I don't feel like doing something to write with a pen because of the smoothness. It just And this is a soft pen. I mean a soft pencil so it's not too bad. But um, anyways, as I was saying, I don't always feel like journaling. I don't always feel like working out. I don't always feel like praying. I don't always feel like not eating the... Um, extra carbs or whatever it is but I always try to keep my end goal in mind when I do things and that like baby let me tell you that is like that end goal I'm like okay you can do it this way and what you're doing right now is only temporary and then when it's all said and done this could be the outcome or this could be the outcome so that's how I work that's how I roll in goal y'all still have like a minute and a half left of journaling time I'm journaling too so who am I I am Y'all hear me writing for my life? Honest to a flaw. And you don't always have to put the positive aspects because, and it re is it really a negative? But you can put both. Like if you're a crybaby sensitive, I used to be the biggest crybaby, so I could say that. And plus, I just told somebody else that was a crybaby jokingly with with my Justin Bieber heart at the end of it. But um, so if you if these are if this is who you are, that's who you are. You know, let's acknowledge it. It's nothing wrong with that. We need sensitive people in the world. I'm a crybaby at times too. I can say flaw, my crybaby. We ain't, we ain't gotta bring up old stuff though, huh? But you know, it happens. Oh, I'm a little. Mm, this coconut oil got me not being able to see. Oh, so. Someone thought I had just worked out and I was sweaty or my house was extremely high. It's coconut oil and tea tree oil. I've been doing it since January 1. It has helped my skin for the most part. In my pictures lately, I do not have on any makeup. Um, I might have on mascara uh, or like my eyebrows, trying to fill them in. But it ain't never extreme because I don't know what I'm doing. Plus, 
these are my eyebrows that I was born with, right? So I'm just trying to take care of my skin. So before bed and when I wake up, I put this on. And then when I take my shower, I only, after I wash my face and everything, I only put on tea tree oil. So I'm not as oily, but I still, you know, have like a smoother surface, surface skin. So I did journal, y'all. Um, I really did because I said I didn't want to. I think y'all going to be like, she lying, she can do it. I did, see? that um i wrote down who i am there's more to me i'm gonna write down more i promise i'm not gonna skip out but it's already taken five minutes of your time this saturday wishing you guys all healthier and happier habits y'all wish my baby happy birthday y'all keep her in your prayers she's 13 now she's her jesus this year so things about to get real for her no more you're the baby you don't know she's about to get a whole bunch of trouble no, she's the baby of the house but um it's official, all teenagers. All right, y'all. Talk to y'all soon.